Hi there Fabric Jugglers, it's Babs here from My Fiery Phoenix and today I'm going to take you through the uh, frequently requested um, mitered corner um, using a bias binding foot. So we do have a tutorial on the foot itself, uh, I'm not going to go over how to use it or how to insert the binding into it, I'm just going to crack on with the, uh, the technique for the uh, mitered corner. If you want to know how to make your own bias binding then there is a tutorial for that, um, I'll pop a couple of links um, in the little eyes up here hopefully somewhere and um, they will take you through to the original foot um, usage tutorial and also how to create five meters of bias binding from one um, one fac water. Only two seams and only two cuts and that gives you five meters of beautiful bias binding. So those two um, disclaimers or mentions to one side, let's get on with the tutorial on how to make this, this uh, mitered corner. So we sew as we would on a normal bias seam. And we sew to the edge of the fabric. We then leave the needle up, lift and slide this out because we need to have some space to manoeuvre and what we're going to be doing is opening up and turning and then folding the binding around so that we're creating so that we're creating this mitre corner here. If you find it too tricky to um, to be manoeuvring around that corner on the machine itself, what you can do is remove everything from the sewing machine and then you've got plenty of room to work so you can then fold the binding around the fabric and you can see you have that lovely mitre corner on the reverse and you have the same created on the front. Hold it in place with a pin and then you can reinsert it in the foot before you then put the foot back onto the sewing machine. So you can just slide that through and then make sure that the bias binding feeds back into the slot on the top and again feeds into the slot on the bottom like so and then you can position it back down where that corner starts so once we've got that back in position so that the, the needle will actually strike at the corner here then we can pop it back in the sewing machine and continue on safe in the knowledge that everything is where it needs to be. So we can pop that on the machine, bring the thread back round. So now that everything's lined back up, we drop one stitch manually, take one stitch forward, and do a reverse stitch just to lock that in place and then sew on through. And remove the pin as we did before just to make sure that we're not going to cause any problems as we come through the foot. as we would normally, snip away the binding, move through the foot and here we have our bias binding with a mitre corner. So as you can see this created us a lovely mitered effect on our corner which is this beautiful fold here. Now you can use this with standard fabric, you can use this with layered quilting fabric if you do a zigzag or you uh, bind off the edges first so that they are thinner than they would otherwise be because at the end of the day whatever it is that you're binding will have to fit through this 
this central slot here. Um, so if you need to, to squish that together to get it through, then do that. Um, otherwise, I'm afraid it won't work with this automatic binding foot. But hopefully this video has shown you that new technique if you uh, didn't know how to do that before. And hopefully that will be of use to you in um, some of your projects. So if this is the kind of thing that you like to see, then please um, like and subscribe to the channel. And hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye for now.